People in Cottonwood Heights call police to report a burglary in progress. When they arrive, police find a drug lab instead. This happened at the Waterside Cove Apartments near 12th East and 72nd South. News for Utah's Brittany Johnson shows us what police found that landed a man behind bars and a woman in the hospital. Sitting in the back of this Cottonwood Heights police truck is 37-year-old Daniel Orton staring into our news camera. He's the one at the center of this drug bust investigation. Police say this started just after midnight when they were called to investigate a burglary in progress. Some neighbors called in and thought someone was breaking into apartments. Spotting Orton and a woman six months pregnant, police try and make contact with them, but one of them runs away while the other ditches some drugs. Police later learning this wasn't a burglary. Orton and the woman had been evicted. They were coming back to grab their things from that apartment. Some of their belongings still out here on the street. You can see their mattress, clothes, and glassware right here that is being cleaned up. Something amongst these items raised red flags with police. They uh, wrote a search warrant for the vehicles. The officers got the vehicle to, to get in there and see what they had. Um, they started, their nose and eyes and throat started burning. They started getting really bad headaches. They saw a bunch of glassware and some chemicals and they thought meth labs. Hazmat teams later discovering this wasn't a meth lab, but rather a DMT drug lab. DMT is, um, it's a psychedelic, kind of like LSD. It's a Schedule One controlled substance, which is illegal to have and produce. Um, but it's not, doesn't have the same explosive properties like a meth lab has. As for if Orton and the woman were on drugs at the time. Oh, it's obvious that, that, that the male was using the drugs. We don't know about the female. Um, it's very obvious the male's been using drugs. Daniel Orton has been booked into the Salt Lake County Jail. And as for the woman who is pregnant, she was taken to a local hospital to be treated and evaluated. Police will determine at a later time if she will face charges as well. For now reporting in Cottonwood Heights, I'm Brittany Johnson, News 4, Utah. Now, the DMT officers found was so strong, four of the officers had to be taken to the hospital to receive medical care and be decontaminated.